Hey everyone, welcome to Wrestling Connection. I'm your host Johnny D, the Redeemer, and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 face paints of professional wrestling. But before we do that, let's check out last week's trivia challenge. What wrestling legend did Yoshi Tatsu pay tribute to with this face paint? Answer, the great Muda. Alright, well there you go, there's your answer. Let's get right into the top 10 face paints in professional wrestling. Number 10 Yoshi Tatsu Tatsu didn't always sport face paint. It wouldn't be until he was already with the WWE for about 3 years that he would debut his face paint during a feud with Tyson Kidd. A tribute to Japan legend the Great Muda, Yoshi began painting half of his face white with kabuki designs and the Japanese kanji for pride to also symbolize his Japanese heritage. Unfortunately, this character enhancement was not enough to save Tatsu from being released from WWE, which is unfortunate because it would have been interesting to see the variations of his face paint over the years. Number 9 Bull Nakano one of the few female wrestlers to use face paint, Nakano used a simple design to exemplify her domineering persona. Bull would sport a blue lightning bolt design that would mostly cover the right side of her face, leaving the left side bare, symbolizing the fracture in her personality. Many US fans may not remember Nakano, save for a few appearances in WWF and WCW in the mid-90s. She is a legend in her homeland of Japan, and her face paint is highly recognized there. Number 8 The Road Warriors Truly one of the most iconic face paints of all time belongs to the Road Warriors, Hawk and Animal. The team's face paint would do the job of intimidating their opponents. While iconic, Hawk's face paint could be seen as a rather simple design, and we would not see much variation in his paint throughout the years. Animal was easily the more creative of the two. While not changing his design much, he would experiment with different colors and highlights to add variation. Regardless, Hawk and Animal's face paint has always been some of the most recognizable among wrestling fans. Number 7 Damien 666 While never a mainstay in the US, Damien was a draw in Mexico since the early 90s, partly due to his demonic face paint. Featuring mainly black, white, and red in the shapes of lightning, dripping blood, and infamously 666 across his forehead, he would strike fear into opponents and audience members alike. Number 6 The Boogeyman The Boogeyman was one of the eeriest wrestlers in the WWE, and one thing that helped out with that was his face paint. The black and red design gave him the look of something that crawled out from under your bed, and seeing that face crawl out from the red smoke during his entrance would send chills down anyone's spine. The later additions of yellow highlights would only accentuate the Boogeyman's creepiness. Number 5 Gold Dust If one wrestler's face paint has undergone the most evolutions, it is definitely Gold Dust. Starting out as a basic gold face with black around the eyes, it quickly evolved with the black growing into designs interwoven into the gold. We would see a drastic change when Dustin became the artist formerly known as Gold Dust. He would drop the gold and make many erratic designs with different colors. Later we would see an updated look of Goldust's original design, and most recently the fan favorite Darth Maul paint. In summary, the Bizarre One's face paint has always been a major fan favorite since the 90s. Number 4 The Ultimate Warrior If one wrestler's face paint transformed them from man to superman, it was the Ultimate Warrior. Warrior's face paint was the glue that held his superhero gimmick together. While the design never changed much, the color variation and matching outfits made him very appealing to the audiences in the 80s and early 90s. Developing the basic design while tag teaming with Sting while on the independent scene, he was able to formulate his own unique design that would leave an everlasting impression on wrestlers and fans alike. Number 3 The Great Muda The Japanese sensation The Great Muda was known for his face paint. His use of black, white, and many dark colors made him look very intimidating. The inclusion of Japanese kanji on each side of his face, patience on the right, and flame on the left showed the dynamic of his character and gave him foreign appeal during his time in the US. 
He may have later dropped the face paint in favor of a mask, but his paint will forever be remembered for its originality and menacing appearance. Number 2. Jeff Hardy If any one wrestler mastered the art form of face painting, that's definitely Jeff Hardy. Hardy began painting his face in 2008 and has never looked back. Always varying the color and styles he uses, it's always exciting looking forward to what Jeff Hardy will come up with next. Hardy doesn't stop at his face either. Jeff has been known to paint parts of his upper body and arms, truly turning his body into a canvas. With the use of bright, contrasting, and sometimes even glow-in-the-dark paint, Jeff Hardy is not only poetry in motion, but also art in motion. Number 1. Sting Easily, one of the most iconic face paints in all of professional wrestling is worn by Sting. Sting easily stood out in his early days with his brightly colored paint jobs ranging from blue to pink to orange. This attracted both kids and adults alike to see the new variations they would see of the Stinger's face paint. A big change came in 1996 when Sting dropped the vibrant colors and debuted his black and white The Crow-esque face paint. Even though Sting had become a more serious character, we still got to see variations of his face paint. He painted his face red and black while with the NWO Wolfpack, and he would include highlights of red and yellows while in TNA and WWE. The final evolution of Sting's face paint we would see is the Joker look he showcased while in TNA. Sting may have had multiple face paint styles, but each one was iconic and memorable nonetheless. Alright, well there you guys go. Do you agree on my list? Let me know down in the comments below. Before you guys go, let's check out this week's trivia challenge. Who is the only click member to never have wrestled in WCW? Alright guys, you can leave your answers down below or you can tweet me at WrestleConnect. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, tell your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.